What's up, Ashley? How you doing? I'm good. Okay, I just have a couple questions for you. Maybe three, I don't know. All right, sounds good. All right, first easy one. How many competitions have you done? I have done three different shows. One as an amateur and then two as a pro. Okay. If you were to give advice to someone who's never competed before and they're getting ready to go on stage, okay. how would you warn them for life after show? Okay, that's a good question because I struggle with this, especially in the very beginning. You get down with your body fat, you're shredded, you look a certain way, and then it's the transition into living regular life when you put on the extra weight. And my biggest advice would be not to stress about it. You're going to increase weight, you're not going to look the same, because it's not realistic to look that way, how you look on stage. And so I would just say, just embrace it, and this will be your time to get back, build more muscle, and just improve on yourself. So. I said right. just go with it. Don't stress. No, don't stress. We all go through it. It's okay. a very common thing. Any, any tips on what kind of what kind of strategy they should have after show? I say set goals for yourself. Um, try getting feedback from people that maybe were at the show or even judges if you're able to. And then take that advice. And even if you have a video of yourself, look back and see maybe what you can improve on. Next go around, um, look at different um, parts of your body if you want to work on your arms maybe a little bit more. Because it looks different once you see yourself on stage. And I say set goals for yourself in the off season and work on that so when you come back next go around, you'll be in better shape than before. Cool. Thank you so of much. Of course. It was All nice right. talking to you. All right. All right, what's going on, Emily? Not much, just got done with the awfully athlete meetup. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe you can answer a couple more questions for me. Question number one, how many competitions have you done? I've done 14 NPC competitions, seven of those being about to be seven national. Wow, <laughs> so you're, you're super qualified to answer this next question. Okay. Okay, to first time competitors, people who have not, never stepped on stage, let's say they're about two weeks out or they're a week out. If you can give them one piece of advice for post-show, life after show, what would it be? Have a plan, immediately. Have a plan. Before you even step on stage, you should know what you're doing on Monday morning. So that means that you have a plan and also have someone to keep you accountable to that plan. Whether it's a coach, a friend, a spouse, no matter what it is, have a plan and have someone keep you accountable. That's the most important thing post-show. What can happen if you do not have a plan? A lot of the time, especially new competitors, they do a show and then after the show, all of a sudden it's like, you know, they had that one date that they were looking forward to for forever and then now all of a sudden that date is come and gone and it was a great time and now they, they're just lost. They don't know what to do. They've been told what to eat or how much to eat, maybe their macros, you know, what kind of exercises to do, what kind of cardio and now they don't have any of that. So now what do they do? They just feel lost. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. What's up guys? I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far and finding it very helpful. First off, I want to say that I urge you to re-watch this video as many times as you have to throughout your prep, even after you get off stage. I want you to re-watch this video because I promise you this will be very helpful. You're going to run into the problem that most people run into and that problem is how do you handle life after you get off stage? How do you handle, what, what's life going to be like? What are the struggles going to be like? Um, whenever you are done with your competition. The reason I'm making this video is because guys, if you've ever competed before, you know the pressures that co the competing brings. You know how hard it is and how tough it is to actually finish a prep and get on stage. If you have not competed before, I've made a video about this on what to expect when you compete. You can go check that out. But I wanna let you guys know right off the bat, it's a very draining process. It takes a lot out of you to get ready for a show. And so having said all that, whenever you've finished with that, whenever you've stepped on stage and, and you've had your show, most people, what happens is they seem kind of lost when they, get off, when they get off the stage. They're like, what do I do now? I've been dieting for 16 weeks, uh, preparing myself for this huge event, and now I don't have that anymore. I guess I can just go eat whatever the hell I want. And it's, it's, it's really hard to stick to any kind of routine or meal plan or diet whenever you don't have a show hanging over your head because that's what's been hanging over your head for three to four months holding you accountable. And when you don't have that, it's just really, really hard to stick to anything. And on top of that, you've been craving all these things during your prep, so you just wanna have it all and you just wanna keep having it all. And it's really hard to exercise self-control. So that's why I wanted to make this video because I, I've worked with a lot of competitors 
throughout my career. And I've just, frankly, I've just known a lot of people in the industry that struggle whenever they get off stage. Um, and I just see them blow up. And so I said, why not? Why don't I just make a video? So first off, guys, I just want to tell you, you can't keep your show body all year round. You just can't do it. They call it show body for a reason, because it's for the show, okay? You're not gonna keep that body all year round. You're not gonna look like that. And I know how it is, ladies, whenever you're on stage you f and, and you, know, you look great and you feel great, and then you get off stage, and it, no girl wants their waist to be getting bigger and bigger every week. No girl wants that, okay? But that's what's gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. You're gonna, you're gonna increase in size all over the place because you can't stay that small, it's just not healthy. So just know you're gonna gain weight, you're gonna get a little bit bigger, you're not gonna be as small as you were on stage, okay? Just know that and accept it and prepare yourself for that mentally because it, 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 it hits hard whenever you don't look like you used to look a month ago. It really hits hard and I, and I know I've seen it with my own eyes, girls struggle a lot with this. So just prepare yourself with that, I wanna warn you about that. That doesn't mean that you can't keep something that looks close to your show body though. You can certainly stay close to it or something that resembles it. So don't think that you're gonna be a totally different looking person. I just wanna warn you that you can't keep your show body exactly how it looked all year round. The best advice I can give you guys, I like what Emily said, is to have a plan in place. Have Either if you follow macros, have a set plan of macros that you're gonna follow. If you're a meal plan follower, if you're a menu follower, have a menu that you're gonna follow and stick to it. Every competitor has five days, three to five days that they're just gonna go nuts after they get off stage because you've been craving stuff, stuff for, for forever and you just wanna, you just, you've been, you probably have like a bucket list of places you wanna go eat. So go enjoy yourself. I always tell my clients, enjoy yourself that weekend of the show, even the following week for a few days and that's it. But after that, after, and I would say at maximum maybe, maybe seven days, but I would just try to cut off like five. After about five days of eating everything you've ever wanted to eat, you should have that plan in place and stick to that plan. Even if you gain more weight than anticipated, don't try to like go like really low on your numbers or really low calories on your menu. Don't do that, just stick to whatever plan you had in place and your body will regulate the damage. I promise you, you'll get back to normal. So stick to the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and say that you were probably in a huge caloric deficit while preparing for your show, especially in the, in the last weeks. So that plan that you follow, what you should be doing is increasing your calories every single week and in order to get to a normal le level of calories that you can take in every day, we call that maintenance. You get to a normal level of maintenance calories. Uh, for most people, it's around 2,000 calories, most women anyways. Guys, you're probably like looking more 2,500 to 3,000 calories. Now, if you're trying to gain muscle, which a lot of you people are, you're trying to enhance certain muscle groups, then you should be aiming towards getting to a surplus. Now, with that, you need to keep increasing until you get to a surplus. That's what the plan should consist of. Now, I wanna tell you guys that that does take time. You should not get into a surplus inside of a month. It's just not gonna happen because what's gonna happen if you do that, you're gonna get fat. That's what's gonna happen. You, if you wanna stay relatively lean while increasing your caloric intake, it has to be a gradual process. So go little by little, just like throughout your prep when you little by little decrease your calories, you should little by little increase your calories until you get to either one, a maintenance, or two, a surplus. And then life is good at that point. Once you get to that point where you're, you're eating like 3,000 calories a day, or for some guys, 4,000 calories a day or whatever, man, you can fit anything in your menu or your macros, whichever way you do it. I'm just gonna say macros because that's what I give my people is macros, so I'm gonna keep saying macros, guys, all right? Uh, if you're a girl, you're, you get to eat something like 2,500 calories. Or I've had some girls eat 3,000 calories a day. So life is good. If you just stick to your plan, you can get to that point. But I just want to warn you to not do it so fast. Don't do it so fast. Also, another tip I can give you is to have a goal. Like maybe have a photo shoot or something or, or um, a trip a trip you have planned and you need to look really good for it. So it'll help you get back on some type of regimen. You can have something hanging over your head that's going to hold you accountable. There's gonna be nothing like a show that's gonna hold you accountable, but at least something, something that you have coming up to where you have to like stay in shape for. 
and that'll also prevent you from just like, man, screw it, I have nothing coming up, I can eat this pizza if I want. So, one guys, you're gonna gain weight, just know that. Two, have a plan in place, and make sure that plan consists of getting your intake to a normal level or even a surplus. And then three, give yourself a goal, something to hold you accountable to that plan that you have in place. If you have those three things set up, then I promise you, it won't be as hard. It's still gonna be hard. The, the, the weeks following the show are the hardest weeks of all because like I talked about, you, you just seem kind of lost, but at least you'll have a plan in place to help you get through that and hopefully you make it through that process because I promise you guys, when you get off stage, you're gonna struggle and that's why I'm making this video. I just want you to know these things, okay? So I'm gonna quit talking Comment down below if you guys have any questions or if there's anything I didn't cover, let me know. I'll do my best to answer it in the comment section or I'll make another video answering your questions. I really appreciate you guys watching my video and I'll see you on the next one.